I think it's probably helping in later lines of therapy. Gemcitabine and docetaxel is a combination regimen that's been around for some time and it achieves objective response rates of over 30% in most patients with uterine in 30% of patients with uterine leiomyosarcoma. So for patients with a high disease burden where you really need to shrink the cancer, that is a very reasonable regimen, as is doxorubicin that's been around for decades with or without iphosphate. Trevectin is probably coming onto the treatment paradigm somewhere around third line uh, for patients that have clearly already failed um, an anthracycline like doxorubicin. That's the FDA approval for the drug, and all the patients in the Trevectin study had to have had prior anthracycline therapy. Um, it probably is, uh, would, trabectidin would be considered around third line, or some people might consider it fourth line because we also have pozopinib, which is an oral um, anti-angiogenesis um, multikinase inhibitor that also has approval in, in the treatment of advanced sarcomas.